Hey, welcome back to the show and today I'm going to talk about loading film into a Rolleiflex SL66. I'm going to load HP5 as I usually do in one of these cameras. So these cameras can be loaded either with the film back on or the film back off. But we're going to do this one which I just finished the roll so you can see what it does. When your film is finished, the little wheel on the back, as you can see here, pops out and you lose the frame counter. So you basically just have to wind all the film so it the paper covers the film. Now that's done. It lets you pop it back in. You have to just push this sideways. It unblocks this. Let me push the camera here. And this is the insert. You can just pull this out, put the camera on the side, and you have your film here. These have these little two things which just hold the rolls in there. So you open one, get your film, get the sticker off, fold under before sealing. So you fold, lick, and you have your exposed film. So now you have your empty spool, which you have to take onto the top. So you open it the same way, put the empty spool as always, you align the hole, in the empty spool with that and just lock it in. So that's ready. And now we open our film, peel the sticker. And now this film, as this is gonna be towards the lens, you need to see not the white part, but the black part of the film. So that's easy. You just put it in the hole, lock that in, as it says unexposed, grab the, beginning of the backing paper go all through the back there's nothing there just go normal you don't have to go between the rollers you just have to go over the rollers into this and now you go through the slit hold a little bit pull just a little bit and now you turn that you can turn through the little pinion here or you can just turn the spool till you feel there's a little tension. This, you don't have to see the arrow or anything. The camera lock stops on its own. It has a self-detecting mechanism, so you don't have to load it just to a certain extent. To know which side this goes in, the insert has a pinion on one side and the film back has a pinion too. So you have to put those together. Push it in, close the back. Now, depending on what film you were using, you would push this little lever down for 24 you'll see a 20 now it's on 12 in frame one but if you would be shooting 220 film you just move that down and it will show 24. I'm not shooting 220 so I'm putting it back on 120 and now all you have to do is turn this till it stops. There it stopped push it in and you're ready to shoot. Once you shoot you just have to advance your camera so it cocks the lens advances the film and then you just put it back down so that's how you lock it if you wanted to take off the film back all you have to do is press this little button on the bottom and it comes off so you can do it with that on or with it off you push it back in it does have a little security to know if you got film in if this is pointing to the arrow this little line is pointing to the arrow that means loaded and ready to shoot if this has turned 90 degrees from where it is now that would mean it's empty and you can load another roll of film so that's how you load a Rolleiflex SL66 and I hope you enjoyed it see you next Wednesday